All right, so the next one here, Nancy Pelosi signs a letter urging Biden to halt arms transfers to Israel. So former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi joined a group of House Democrats in a letter urging President Biden to halt weapons transfers to Israel until until there's a full investigation into the Israeli killing of seven workers for the World Central Kitchen. So Pelosi's signature is notable because she has been a staunch supporter of Israel throughout her long career in Congress. I mean, this is very surprising for me to see. Um, Of course, you know, this is, I don't think she's had a change of heart. I'm sure it's about elections coming up and all that. But one quote that I put in from Pelosi, this is from 2018, just to show how much she loves Israel. Uh, She said a few years ago, quote, if this capital crumbled to the ground, the one thing that would remain is our commitment, our aid, our cooperation with Israel, end quote. So if the capital crumbled to the ground, if Washington, D.C. crumbled to the ground, Pelosi says the one thing that would remain is is military aid to Israel. So her signature, another uh, angle, it does seem like the Democratic establishment wants to go after Netanyahu, so maybe this could be part of that strategy. We saw Chuck Schumer calling for early elections. Uh, But either way, still, I think it's pathetic for other Democrats that haven't, you know, gotten on, signed on to this letter. The fact that Pelosi did it before them is really shameful. Um, So this letter was signed by a total of 40 House Democrats, and it called for the U.S. to halt arms shipments to Israel until a full investigation into the killing of these workers is completed. Um, So the letter reads, quote, In light of this incident, we strongly urge you to reconsider your recent decision to authorize the transfer of a new arms package to Israel and to withhold this in any future offensive arms transfers until a full investigation into the airstrike is complete. If this strike is found to have been violated, if, sorry, if this strike is found to have violated U.S. or international law, we urge you to continue withholding these transfers until those responsible are held accountable. We also urge you to withhold these transfers if Israel fails to sufficiently mitigate harm to innocent civilians in Gaza, including aid workers, and if it fails to facilitate the transport and delivery of humanitarian aid into Gaza, end quote. Um, so I just mentioned in the article, you know, this the, the killing of the world central kitchen workers has gotten all this attention. And, you know, it should have because it was a horrific uh, crime. But Israel has been doing this throughout these six months. Israel has killed over 220 aid workers in Gaza, and that includes 177 employees of the UN's Palestinian Relief Agency. But those are Palestinians, and American politicians don't care when Palestinians are killed. That's just the the reality. It's very unfortunate for the Palestinians. But this, you know, they killed a few foreigners, including an American citizen. So I think uh, that's why we're seeing the the response that that we're seeing. I have said to people when they ask me if this capital crumbled to the ground, the one thing that would remain is our commitment to our aid. And I don't even call it aid, our cooperation with Israel. That's fundamental to who we, fundamental uh, to who